and welcome back to the Mike and Athena show. That's Central the end of the Valley. show. We have no guests no, today, so we, we're going to... We have a very interesting guest. Okay. Wait, and I'm always great with names. Kathy Looper. Yes. Woo! For for some weird reason, I almost called you something else. I love your name. It's like a radio name, Kathy Looper. In the What's history. the name of the organization? I forgot. That. Um, our our parent company is Journey Youth Coalition. Journey um, Youth Coalition. That's our five hundred one c three, and we're doing business as Genesis House. Okay. Genesis, um, okay. And we did that on purpose so that we can open a boys shelter. Yes. And then we'll have a different name for the boys shelter. But you have a girls shelter right now. Right now, Genesis just House is just girls. For who? Who goes there? Um, any any youth. 14 to 18 if they're still in school. Runaway and homeless girls okay. so that are on the 14 street. to 18. 14 to 18. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Now are these are these people and you know obviously you can't you know say their names or what they've been through but are these people abuse like running away from abused families maybe sex trafficking all the above all the ever, above. Yeah. Yep. A lot of the kids that we come in contact with um, have been in the system, so they have been victims in the child welfare service system. Yes. Um, then they become perpetrators and a lot of times go into the juvenile hall system. Yes. And so when they come out on probation, they go on the run, or they're in foster placement, they don't like the home they're in, they go on the run. Um, some kids just want to hang out with their boyfriend and mom and dad's too strict, so they go on the run. Wow. Um, we've had a few adoptive kids whose adoptive parents can't control them anymore or the adoptive kid doesn't want to be there anymore and so they're they go on the run as a runaway is um, there a time limit they could stay there yeah so the state mandate so we're a licensed facility by the state of california community care licensing there's only 11 in the whole state hmm. so california has 1.5 million runaway and homeless youth and with only 11 shelters. Oh and so we were the number 11th. But so the state mandates a 21 day stay um, and they can stay up to three stays, but they have to leave overnight after day 21 and they can come back the following day. <laughs> I don't oh. mean to laugh, but it's like, it's okay, crazy. No, I agree. If, you, I, if they want to stay, they just have to go somewhere else. 63 and then, days yeah. max. And then come back. 63 days max. Yeah. Okay. And in that time, they have that though. Yeah. And that time is one night away and then they can come back. Right. Okay. Right. And we hope to use that time to stabilize them yes. for either, you know, better for, or, not better because I think foster placement works great, but of sometimes course. there's yeah, just but, disparities. Yeah, but what if what if a foster what if foster parents or the adoptive parents are abusing the kid they, and they and gotta get happens. away from these people? Yeah. You never you don't know. Right. Now, can they rules? when they're there? Do they get some counseling or is there people to talk to? Yeah. So I'm a marriage and family therapist. Oh, so cool. we so our shelter is we'll do crisis intervention. Uh huh. Excuse me. We'll do, um, you know, we'll do an assessment when they come in. Our goal is to plug them in long term for services. So I would set them up with Visalia U Services or yeah. any of the other um, programs that do long term counseling. I'm gonna just kind of, um, and our we have a clinical director, so we will just kind of problem solve their most immediate crisis and needs and try to plug them in. Um, but yeah, we have great partnerships with different um, nonprofits in our community yes. to kind of, we, we wanted to, to provide where the gap was. And right now the gap is in overnight stays for minors. Um, but we have wonderful nonprofits in Tulare County that provide the other services. And so we never wanted to replicate. We just wanted to kind of come alongside and assist where the gap was. No, I think it's awesome. Can Are these like appointed, like is your house appointed to them? Or are these people like, okay, you know, I'm in trouble. I'm wandering the streets or whatever. I need a place to stay. Can they just walk in? Yep, they can walk in. It's voluntary placement. It so is. okay. a group home, just to kind of give you an idea, a group home is a mandatory placement that comes through the child welfare services. Um, and sometimes comes through juvenile court. Okay. Um, a runaway and homeless youth shelter is all voluntary. Wow. So the the child doesn't have to be there if they don't want to be there. If they come and just want to eat dinner and say, hey, I don't want to be here anymore, they're welcome to leave. Um, our wow. goal is to hopefully provide support and love for these kids oh. and a safe place where they want to stay. They're not going to be judged, not going to have a ton of rules, but you know, we want to give them enough room to settle in 
and build some rapport with them so that they'll actually trust us and allow us to help them. Because we know going in that these kids are usually in survivor mode mm -hmm. and um, they don't want to hear from adults. You know, we have to build their trust and respect and we have to give them a reason to want to allow us in their life. And some can walk in, and any kid could walk in, 14 to 8, girls only, yes. for right now, you're going to add boys later right. in a different location. Right. And, uh, but sometimes police officers will stop a kid, what are you doing, you can't be out this late, I have right. nowhere to go, well, I know where you can go, so they'll refer them. Yeah, so um, what we're doing right now in Tulare County is if law enforcement does encounter a child um, that they've determined is a runaway or a homeless youth, um, they can pick them up and bring them to the shelter and we'll do the intake with them. Um, before, or they can take them to the juvenile hall. Yeah, and that's what has happened in the past um, is their only placement was juvenile hall um, or child welfare services with an emergency placement and sometimes that's not always available at 2 in the morning. Right. And so we, we now are a resource for law enforcement to bring the child there and make sure they're safe. And then we will do the mandated reporting mm -hmm. to child welfare services. But in the meantime, the child can have a shower and some food and change of clothing and, and um, rest, hopefully. But anybody has to be careful what they do with a kid. If a cop picks up a right. kid, he only has certain choices. Right. You're licensed, so yes. that's a choice. Yep, we're licensed with the state. Yep. Where are the others around the state? You said there's 12 total? Um, there's 11 total. Um, they're, they're in Orange County. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's a couple in San Francisco area. Yeah. Um, I don't know if San Diego has one, um, but definitely Los Angeles, Orange County, San Francisco. But this is the biggest need. But this is, this is yeah. huge. Need oh my God, and a actually, you guys have like one this. here in Fresno. Oh, we do. Yeah. See? Who knew? It's know. called the Sanctuary. Oh, the Sanctuary. Yeah, uh -huh. the sanctuary. So what sure. we'll I've do when... Sanctuary. So sanctuary does yeah. take males and females, oh, okay. and so you if we be pick, with that. Yeah. they're separated. Yes. But if we pick up a male, then we'll drive them up here and and place them in the sanctuary if there's an open bed. Do you like check for like let's just say someone comes off the streets, they're addicted to drugs, yeah. or they have a sexually transmitted disease or something like? Do you just help them clean up and do that kind of stuff, or just? try to get them the best counseling or programs that they need you yeah. know because so much stuff happens on the streets they Tons. could be involved in yep. sex trafficking drugs yeah or even they could be on the run from the law who knows right well we have um our board we had at one time four law enforcement personnel on our board to help us navigate some of that yes. um, but we do That's have awesome. great partnerships with the da's office for us to help advocate for these kids yeah. if there's a case ongoing case yes. um if they're listed as a missing persons then law enforcement will be made known that they're safe and they're there and they will allow us to advocate for those kids as well in that missing persons situation um but yeah we have an intake room that is separated from the house so we can make sure there's no weapons no paraphernalia to, to get into the house right they well they're gonna have to go through me to yeah. get into the house yeah. and then we'll assess and make sure everything is safe um but we have a partnership with Kuwait delta the me medical student program and the residency wow. program so um the medical personnel is going to evaluate any medical needs, any issues that's going on with the kids, sexual transmitted diseases, um, they'll be able to treat. So um, we have a dentist who's willing to do the dental work wow. for free. Um, a lot that's of this amazing. stuff can be done under the Good Samaritan yes. um, law. So we're really fortunate to be able to offer that. And our long-term hope and goal is that we can have partnerships with Teen Challenge and with other a long-term drug and alcohol placement yes. facilities where we can stabilize these kids and then send them to like maybe a one-year program where they can really learn how to do life um, substance or alcohol free and so but unfortunately where those services are free for adults they're not free for kids and many of these kids who need those services can't afford them and their parents can't afford them or they wouldn't be on the street in the first yeah. place yeah, so my, it's a very difficult a, situation my neighbor's daughter i remember she like went missing mm -hmm. he had no idea where she was yeah. for months right and now, our, speaking of the da we have a video from him okay, should we play yeah. that now oh, yes, 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 yes. this is tim ward da in uh, tulare county cool 
I'm Tulare County District Attorney Tim Ward. Every day, this office sees firsthand the tragic impact of crime on the youth in our communities. To say that some of our teenagers were vulnerable is an understatement. Too often, they're victims of crime, and even more often, they're victims of circumstance. One especially troubling aspect is the homeless youth who are abused and exploited all too often. Nationally, it's reported that 80% of runaway girls will be approached by a trafficker within the first 48 hours of ever being on the street. While law enforcement does its part to bring justice to these victims, organizations like Genesis House are there to help bring hope to those youth on the front lines of vulnerability. We're grateful for Genesis House and the role they play in providing hope, safety, and compassion. So take a moment to get to know Genesis House and those involved and let's support them as they support our most vulnerable. I was just asking Kathy off the air, but tell us now, is this house open to the public? Like, if you if you know someone that's a runaway homeless, that's a kid, I hate to say it, it could be your own kid for mm -hmm. all we know, they have a safe place to go. So can you tell us the address? Yeah, we're um, our address is published, so we're, we're okay. not. Um, it's not a private address. We're eight four one A West Walnut in Visalia. We're right at the intersection of Conyer and Walnut. Um, it is one hundred percent cameras and fenced, and so um, anyone with big ideas wanting to get in without permission, it's not going <laughs> to happen. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're definitely uh, definitely protected in yes. that sense um, but good. we are in town we are open to the public we will give the public tours um, we will take any child who feels like they want to run away having trouble at home um, we'll take them we will do our best to work with families our goal is to stabilize the children um, and get them into a, a situation whatever that might look like to where they can begin to function and make choices for themselves and, and hopefully choose the right thing so that long-term they're safe from predators. And how many beds do you have right now? We have six. We're licensed for six while we go through the conditional use permit process with the city of Visalia. And then um, we will be hopefully approved for 24. Wow. And then we will um, apply for an increased capacity with uh, Department of Community Care with Licensing. And yeah. you were asking about social media? Yeah, yeah. So where, so where, you told us the address. Yeah, so. Where can we find info? So we have a Facebook page. It's okay. uh, Genesis House by Celia. Uh, Instagram, Genesis House by Celia. LinkedIn is under my name, Kathy Looper. And Twitter, Genesis House by Celia. And our website is genesis-house.org. I Very think it's good. a wonderful thing where you're doing for Thank these kids. Thank you so much. You yeah. know, I've never been in that situation, but if you're watching and you are in that situation, you know of anyone? There's a place to go. There's yeah. a place That's to go. That's the important thing we oh, need to know. one more question before I let you go. Are you looking for volunteers? Always looking for okay. volunteers. Always, always, always looking okay. for month, monthly donors. Can I just say one thing about yes. um, if you are out on the street, grocery shopping, out and about in Tulare County, and you do see a youth that you think might be, um, in need of a shelter. Um, if you could call us or email us and let us know, we have an outreach van. It's a search and rescue van. Cool. We go out every week and we try to make contact with these kids and we invite the girls for sure to come back with us. And then if we run across boys that want help, we can, like I said, bring them up In to the Fresno sanctuary, to yeah. the sanctuary. But let us know what you're finding out there so we can reach out and try to you know connect with them absolutely all yeah. right well the address is on right there or the website um before we let you go if there's the anything website else? genesis hyphen house.org okay. and um our telephone number is 559-280-4619 that's a 24 hour a day seven day a week cell phone um, that you can reach me or my staff wow. at any time well you are awesome and very dedicated thank you. kathy thank you we'll be this right after back Thank you.